Hello everybody! Today we're growing crystals using this kit by Dig, Discover, and Display. This kit comes with a block to excavate rocks and crystals, as well as some mono ammonium phosphate to grow crystals. So if you want to see how we excavate the rocks and crystals from this kit, you can click on the screen right now. But today we're going to be growing crystals, and this whole process took about 10 days. So it comes with this mono ammonium phosphate so do be mindful when you're working with this and follow the safety procedures I was supervising my 10 year old as he did this project and my five-year-old was there with us as well so you begin by putting the mono ammonium phosphate into a clear container it's important that you follow the directions very precisely it requires one cup and two tablespoons of very warm water so that you can dissolve the salt and then we transferred it into a glass jar which ended up not being the best idea and you'll see why at the very end we did do this four different times with the four different packets that came we had two kits total so each kit comes with two packets to grow crystals now the compound is the same however dye has been added to each of these different packets to give like a different look to the crystals and I didn't realize that when I purchased the kits in the first place I thought we were making different crystals however they all end up being tetragonal crystals which means they're four sides they do look really beautiful when they're done uh, but they are fragile they do break easily as well so we did this four different times mixing them in these plastic beakers that we got from a corn naturalist and you can check the description box below for a link to that product we also had to cover them for an hour and then we added the rest of the salt to it and then you need to put it in a place that's going to be undisturbed and it recommends that you put a rock inside i think this aids in the crystal growing process. Now after just 10 hours, the white crystals look amazing. We really were fascinated by this and the other three colors, however, did not show as much growth or hardly any at all. But here is a look at all four of those containers. We did a mix of glass jars as well as those beakers from Acorn Naturalist. Now, we were really hoping that 10 days later we'd have these overflowing crystals, but we were really disappointed, and they just did not grow as well as we thought. Now, there are some troubleshooting tips as included in the directions for this kit, and it's possible that maybe the temperature of the water wasn't correct because we use the warmest water with the white crystals or the clear crystals rather and then as we were mixing the different solutions the water began to cool down so it's possible that the water wasn't warm enough to dissolve the crystals thoroughly the granules first <laughs> and to allow the crystals to grow however it was really great to pull these larger ones out the ones with the in the glass jars the rocks wouldn't come out easily and we had to break the crystals in order to get them out but the ones in the beakers came out really easily because there was nothing impeding the crystals from coming out the way that the lip of the jar does so if you want to see more pictures of these spectacular crystals you can check them out on my website at pepperandpine.com